so in this session we are going to see about mimo mimo stands for multiple input multiple output in order to improve the radio link performance instead of using the single antenna at the transmitter and receiver side we can do the replication of the single antenna by more than one antenna that is a concept behind mimo so mimo it is the meaning of multiple input where we can connect more than one antenna in the place of single antenna at the transmitter that is a meaning for mi that is multiple input and multiple output means here the the transmitter antenna will give the different version of number of version of the same input that is transmitted by the transmitter that is a meaning for mimo so mimo is a technology that is used multiple antennas in transmitter side as well as in the receiver side this is the simple representation of mimo where we have connected multiple antennas at the transmitter as well as the receiver so this multiple version of the antennas in both transmitter and receiver supports the wireless communication for its multipath propagation so what is the meaning for mimo wireless system so this is a transmitter we have so each and every triangle it represent the antenna so we have multiple number of antenna which is connected with the transmitter so whatever the signal transmitted with the transmitter it is propagated through the free space so it takes multipath to propagate to reach a destination so of course in in between the distance between the transmitter and receiver you would be having number of obstacles like trees and tall building so depending upon the nature and the material used in the obstacles in the distance between the transmitter and receiver you will be having reflection refraction and scattering after those parameters happening whatever the reflected signal that will be captured by number of antennas in the receiver side so which represents that multiple input so this is the meaning of multiple input and this is the meaning of multiple output right so that is meaning that mimo multiple input multiple output using multiple antennas both the transmitter and receiver so antennas are spaced at a particular distance in order to uh, avoid the fading effect so it represents or it allows space time signaling instead of having a single antennas we have replicate the single antenna by more antenna that is spaced enough in order to reduce the fading effect so that represent the spacing space time signaling also so this is the picture which represent the multipath propagation so whatever the signal that is transmitted by the space station which which will be transmitted in the free space in and around the space that is represented by the spherical coordinate system so that signal will take multiple path to reach the designation point here the designation is here the mobile phone so here in this diagram we have represented three different direction for the signal from base station to the mobile so it represent the multipath propagation here so since we have the multipath propagation of the single signal from the single transmitter to the single receiver it represent the path loss so depending upon the path which is taken by the signal and the number of obstacles and the nature of obstacle in that path the path loss will be varied right so one path may include reflection and one path may introduce scattering and or the shadowing effect and the other path will introduce the diffraction so depending upon these modification in the incoming signal the captured signal in the multi path propagation will reach at a different time which will introduce us the path loss and this is the meaning for Uh, there are four different techniques in the wireless communication in order to use antennas a transmitter and receiver so before the mimo concept came into picture we have siso simo and the miso so that are the three versions related to mimo the first one is the siso that is a meaning of single input single output where we have single antennas it is connected with the transmitter and a single receiver 
antenna is also connected to the receiver so whatever the signal transmitted by the transmitter the single version has been transmitted by this single antenna and it is captured by the single receiver antenna and it is given to the receiver for its propagation so if if you want to improve the efficiency or the radio link performance of this single pair of antenna we have to replace this single antenna at both transmitter and receiver side by multiple antenna so what will happen if transmitter and receiver employs multiple antennas so this is the answer for that question which will give us the implication of in multiple input and multiple output which is called as mimo where we have replaced the single antenna by number of antennas which is represented by nt here so nt is the total number of antennas in the transmitter n is the total number and t is the transmitter antenna representation so n number of total antennas is used in the transmitter side and whatever the number of signal that much amount of multipath has been taken by the transmitted signal by this transmitter so all the signals will be captured by the wireless channel and then it will be released to the another opposite direction which will be captured by again n number of receiver antenna which is represented by nr here so nr represent the total antennas in the receiver side so whatever the number of signal that is captured by this nr antenna it takes multipath n n amount of multipath direction to propagate and it will be captured by the receiver for its propagation so in this mimo and system totally we have nt into nr number of antennas where nt is the number of antennas in the transmitter side and nr is the number of antennas in the receiver side what is the exist system before mimo that we are going to see so this is the second one so already we have seen s i s o no that is single input single output this is the second one that is m i s o which is nothing but multiple input and single output so here multiple or single we have to decide based on the number of antennas used in the transmitter and the receiver so if it is multiple input single output means here in the transmitter side we have to connect multiple number of antennas but at the receiver side we have to connect only one antenna that means the multiple version of the transmitter signal by multiple antennas in the transmitter takes the multipath to propagate and all the multipath signals will be collectively captured by the single antenna at the receiver side that is the meaning for miso it can also be called as transmitter diversity and the third one is sismo so we have seen two things first first one is sismo next one is miso that is meaning at the m multiple input and single output and the third one is simo simo it is nothing but single input multiple output that means you have to place single antenna at the transmitter side whereas the number of antennas to be increased in the receiver side so whatever the signal transmitted by the single antenna it takes the multipath to propagate in a free space and all the multipath components has been received if i number of antennas connected with the receiver that is a mini for single input multiple output since we have replicate the signal version by having multiple antennas at the receiver it is also called as receiver diversity you see here in the previous slide so we have given the number of antennas in the transmitter that's why it is called as transmitter diversity so wherever we have the multiplication that will produce this diversity so since in this diagram transmitter antenna is in multiplication number that's why it is called as transmitter diversity whereas here the receiver antenna has a multiple component that's why it is called as receiver diversity so out of the two signals the receiver process strongest to one so in this diagram we have take represented two different path in red color that means here the receiver receives the two version of the same signal that is transmitted by the transmitter so it decide which one is best one that highest quality signal will be taken for its 
processing that is the meaning for SIMO. So how 